Hello everybody, what's up, and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Dot Hack. Sadly, I'm having to do an extra episode because my recording just ended in the middle of a cutscene and I couldn't get to a save point, which really sucks. But let's I, keep uh... going, I guess. Okay, got it. Well, if you need anything, just call us. Oops, Neil, sorry, I bought my microphone. See ya. Yeah, <laughs> later. Yeah, later. I'm just gonna make this a short episode because ah, uh, I did not mean uh, for it to go on. I'm so beat. What was that about? And what about that woman and the yeah, dangerous power she talked about? I'll log out and check my email or something. See, if I had... Oh my gosh. If, if I had just been a little bit faster, a slight bit faster, I would have been able to actually um, get through that cutscene without having to uh, do another episode, which sucks. But I guess I'll just do what Haseo said to do and log out. I could just read through all this stuff, I guess, or check through it a little bit, the world, you know. Yes, it's an MMORPG, and this is the world volume two, pretty much. This teaches you about a bunch of stuff. Oh, I can't wait until I get my steam bike, like seriously, the, the gondola, yeah. And this is the whole history of the world. I'm not going to read through all of these, because that just takes way too long. So here's all the different races, humans beasts and then all the non-player characters factions I think oh, okay our factions no factions aren't the job classes here's the job classes twin blade right uh, blade brandier who just uses swords edge punisher who uses heavy blades Lord partisan that uses uh, spears or lances, tribal grapplers that use hand-to-hand uh, -hand combat, uh, flick reapers that use scythes, steam gunners that use, well, steam guns, like Ovan, adept rogues, which are like, well, Haseo, and they learn everything, and then there's harvest clerics, which use healing magic, and eventually, once they start getting to a certain level, they do start learning, uh, not only healing magic but also attacking offensive magic and same with shadow warlocks they start off with just offensive magic and they do start to gain uh healing magic yeah see it even says that and then there's macabre dancers they use the fans those are interesting and then there's threads which these are all the different types of monsters there's deep there's uh ogres demons sea monsters wow ogres demons sea monsters supernaturals like those sword enemies avians like birds plants like these giant tree bosses demon beasts like these lion looking things and uh, uh, mecha beasts like these robots dragons except for that's not really dragons it's a seahorse but whatever and crustaceans like these giant crabs yeah I don't know what that image is of. What the heck is that supposed to be? Just like a culmination of all the enemies or something? It's pretty freaky looking. Anyway, so let's quit and go to my uh, awesome screen. And hey, I got a new email. Let's check my email. Mm, oh, my good Squidward. My good doggy. Ah, uh, my, my baby niece is crying. I guess something upset her. Anyways, oh, hey, quests. Yes, that's right. Quests are now available to us. Although I won't be getting into that in this episode. Oh, uh, boy. Yeah. And see, they can send you emails and talk to you and you can respond back. Thanks for adventuring together with me. I never would have thought you were the real terror of death. I've heard a lot about you. This was the fourth time I've been targeted by PKers. Only the fourth? Wow, I'm surprised. I'm just glad I didn't actually die this time, ROTFL. Not that it matters, because it's a video game! So, what are you going to do now? It must be really rough having to start from scratch again. 
Yeah, I know, right? Leveling up. I'm going to level up. Otherwise, I can't even walk around the world without feeling inadequate. I'm going to send this message to him because uh, that way he'll send you area words to, uh, to an area so you can level up. And here's the annoying gas part. So, you really were the terror of death. I was so surprised. I wonder how many times I've been PK by now. LOL, apparently Beast Race characters are really easy targets. Some, something like, I don't feel bad about killing it because it's just a dumb animal. If there's anything Syllabus or I can do to help, just let us know. Uh... T not really. I don't have any business with you. That's pretty mean. That'll decrease your affection, so I'm just gonna ask about Triage. Which, of course, he's not gonna know anything about, but... Figured I might as well ask anyways. Uh, hold on. I'm checking something real quickly on my actual computer in real life. I have these, like, automatic, you know, browser games. Alright, it's Pi again. Really interesting name. Pi. P-I. Pi. <laughs> this is basically a repeat of what we went over before, but don't forget, your character hides a very dangerous power, and we are the only ones who are capable of controlling that power. <laughs> no thanks. Who are you? Just who are you, anyway, old, uh, lady? I, was, I, th I thought he said old lady, but I guess not. He just says lady. Do you not get how cryptic you sound? Okay, I'll send that one. <coughs> uh, sorry about the cough. Wait, what is this? Oh, yeah, 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 this is the characters. This shows how much affection they have towards you. Hey, I even gave you a, a gift syllabus. How come you have less affection towards me than... Gaspard, and it also says uh, stuff about them like Adelie loves small birds, chat enjoys chatting with Moon Tree members. Nice to meet you is her uh, catchphrase, I guess. And then Syllabus is uh, wants a new cell phone, a G Power 9 graphics card, and an advanced M2D. And I, his catchphrase is I got your back, smiley face. Send that bitch a smiley face. Bitches love smiley faces. Anyways, Gaspard, favorite thing, napping. Really? I love to do that too, but s still. Favorite food, paella? What the heck is that? He hates avocados and natto. I love av avocados. What's wrong with you? Anyways, his catchphrase is Haseo, play with me. Seriously? Just no, Silva. Just no, Gaspar. Just no. I almost called him Silva's. Gosh. And there's some other stuff I can check now. New stuff here on Apkalu. The Terror of Death. Wait, I thought I got that one. Alright, well, is that it? Yeah, I guess so. Anyways, alright, so... I'm, I'm sorry if I'm not really talking too much right now. I'm just, like, focused on getting stuff done. Like I said, this is just gonna be a short episode, so I think I'm just gonna log back into the world and then save. Save in the world and stop. Even though I haven't even been playing for that long. Um, yeah, it's only been about 10 minutes. I kind of feel bad about stopping the video. Well, you know what? How about this? I'll go and pick up the quest. I'll go and at least pick up the quest that you have to do with Syllabus and uh, Gaspard. And see, that's, e that's even the next objective that you have to do anyway, is go to the quest shop and do the quest. I have to add them to the party first, I think. Yep, so let's invite them to the party, and accept the crown quest. Suggested PC level, player character level 5, I want someone to get the chimp crown. And I am, I am more than adequate to take on this uh, side quest, so let's do it. Oh uh, yeah, the last time I did a let's play of this game, I gave these guys some pretty funny sounding voices, so I don't know. 
Hello, this is the Glass Shop. Thank you for your patronage. We have some adventurers here who have accepted your quest. I don't know why I sound Indian. Again. <laughs> My name is Kubo. Dr. Kubo, that is. My research relates to chimchims. What? What kind of research? Well, now, that's a secret. I can't tell you that. Retrieve the chim... Uh, anyway, I want you to retrieve the chim crown for me. Oh, sorry, I just decreased the volume on my headphones. He has a giant chim-chim that rarely appears. As his name implies, he, is, he has a magnificent crown on his head. Ah, sorry, I'm readjusting my uh, headset. I want that crown. I have a few ideals where the king chim-chim is likely to show up. I want you to go there and get the king chim crown. I've prepared plenty of rewards for you, so do your best. I mean, this is kind of a short quest, but still. It's pretty still. difficult to kick the king. No, it's not. It's king actually easy. Chim Chim? Isn't that the huge one? That's what she said. Anyways. Uh, okay, yeah, let's go back to the dome. Then I'm going to save and stop because really, I mean, I can do this mission really shortly. It's not a very long mission. It honestly doesn't take a lot of time to do. But, like I said, I'm just going to make this a short episode. It's been, it's been about 15 minutes or so, so I think I'm going to stop for now. Well, see you guys next time.